Hi everyone, welcome to part five of this popular series that we've done, five actual tricks you need to know. So if you haven't watched parts one through to four, please make sure you do so on our YouTube channel. And I'll even include the links to those videos in the description down below. Make sure you do not miss one single video in this series. So let's jump into part five and to teach you five Excel tricks you need to know. So our first trick that we are going to discuss today is how to get your formulas in Excel. And everybody that's watching this probably thinks I'm crazy, but as you can see at the top of in our formula bar here, you'll see our formulas typed out into this equation. So this is a much more descriptive way when you send this spreadsheet of yours away to your boss or wherever it might be. It's a description that somebody can understand what type of formula was happen happening here. So instead of, let's just say, doing your formula regularly or normally like this, you'll do your number of items sold and then you'll do your retail price minus your cost price and you'll type out your formula and it looks something like this so as you saw at the top there we've got a great description if somebody is into you is going into your spreadsheet and they want to figure out how your formula works then they can type it and it's much clearer to them how it works instead of this it might be for some people this might be something stupid but this is a great and a helpful trick so first off once you've got your table as you can see here you are going to type in or you're going to do um, you're going to select your table like this you're going to hold in control and shift and press f3 so from there this pop-up window will appear so we are going to select the top row and we are going to take away the left column so once we click ok now you can type out your formulas like this so as you can see there we've got our number of items sold so we can just type that in that will include everything and we are going to multiply that by our retail price as you can see here our formulas are actually much easier to type out like this instead of you looking through all of your data to make sure your formulas are correct so from there you cost price just as it was and now you've got your formula typed out like this and it's a great way as i said to display your formulas and for somebody else when they see your spreadsheet to understand what is happening here so if i click enter You'll see it automatically calculates the same formula for each and every row. And there you have it. It's as easy as that. So now once somebody comes into your uh, spreadsheet and they're wondering what formula you use to calculate your profit, they can exactly see what is going on. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Okay, our second trick that we are going to discuss is using the autofill pattern. So there are a, a lot of ways how you can use autofill in Microsoft Excel, but this is a quick and easy way that can just speed up your workflow. So instead of typing in, manually typing in each and every name like this, it this will take you forever. So I've got a great trick for you guys to speed this up. So instead of doing this, you're going to type out your first row of information. So you're going to type our first name, our last name, and we're going to do our email. Let's do something like this. Lucyj at info.com. So once you've typed out your information, you are going to press Control and E. And this will automatically fill or autofill the rest of your information. And even as you can see, we've typed in an email address over here. And from there, 
it actually you don't need that in any of your selection or anything to get this done excel recognizes the pattern that you are typing and it implements that pattern throughout your spreadsheet so if you've got long lists i know this is a short list but it was just to explain this example if you've got a long list of employees and you need to do something like this for ever what reason you may be this trick is a great trick to get any anything done so let's for instance say let's type in another let's do an email address again and we'll do l.j at info.com so from here if you we press this control e it automatically fills in our whatever our pattern is as you guys can see so this is a great trick that you can do to speed up your workflow in microsoft excel so the next excel trick that i'm going to show you guys is how to get a star rating in microsoft excel so this might sound stupid but for me it's a cool little trick to get my excel spreadsheets a bit more fun and creative and you can do this i mean in this example we're going to discuss hotel ratings you can do co-worker ratings you can do whatever you can imagine with this uh, function that i'm going to show you guys you you just need to be creative so it's quite simple um, from there you're going to type in equal sign and we're going to type in the the ripped function so this is the repeat function effectively it repeats text or whatever you would like it to repeat uh, for a number of times so let's just show you exactly what i mean about that so we are our text that we want to repeat is a star so in order to get that star when you're working on a windows computer you're going to hold in your windows button and your comma point button you're going to select that and this pop-up will appear so from here you've got emojis and a lot of different stuff that you can do within excel but as i said we're going to click on the star just get that away so in our function you'll see this star being shown here so we're going to close that off right there with a comma we are going to select our number of times that we want the star to repeat so the number of times is coupled to our rating that we have so from here going to end this function here and you'll see we've got a one star rating here so i'm just going to autofill this and as you can see you've got your star ratings you can do this with emojis or whatever you would like but the main thing is we've used this repeat function to repeat our star or our text you can do uh, yes or no or whatever you would like and we've repeated that on our rating scale on this side so that's how the repeat function works and it's quite simple and now you can be creative with this and see what spreadsheets you can get out of this so the next formula that we are going to discuss the next trick that we're going to discuss is how to calculate the end date so for instance you've got this project and you've got your starting date and you've got the time that has elapsed in months uh, that your project is and you want to calculate your date and you do, do not want to calculate this manually and type in each end date manually let's just say 2002 the 10th month and the fifth you know you don't want to type in this manually for each of these dates and you want to use a simple formula in order to calculate this and that is exactly what this is so in order to do that we're going to type in the equal sign and we're going to type in e date so once you've typed in e date with your bracket you are going to select your starting date and you're going to select your months so once you've done that you can close your bracket and you can type enter and it will calculate 
your end date with your parameters that you have set in here. So then you can just autofill your list and you can just see how everything has worked out. So this is an easy tip when you are working with this irritating date system. So our fifth trick for part five of our video series, five Excel tricks you need to know. And perhaps one of my favorite tricks so far is our next level drop down list. So this is a great way to use a drop down list to just elevate your Excel spreadsheets. We do have a video on drop down lists. I will add that description, the link to that video in the description below for you to watch that as well. You can find that on our YouTube channel. Uh, but let's continue with our next level drop down list. So from here, you can see I've got my list set up on another spreadsheet on this side. And we've got our three brands and we've got our items. This can be anything you can you can mix and match this whatever way you would like. Uh, but the principle stays the same. So wherever your list is, you are going to select. So let's say for brand A, I'm going to select all of the items in that brand. And at the left top corner in the name box, I'm going to change this to A. So this is perhaps a bit confusing, but you're going to change this to your brand name. So I've got brand A here, and I'm going to change the name of this selection over at the top here. So once I press enter, you'll see our selection is A. There you can see it. So we're going to do the same for B. Uh, I'm going to select these blank cells as well, because whenever you add items to your brand over here, it will increase your list as well. So I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to just change this to B and the same for our brand C. So in the name box, changing the value of your selection. And once you've done that, I see everything was changed here. Let's just do that again. So C press enter and you'll have it. So from here on, we're going to head over to our next level drop down list of spreadsheet number two that we've got set up on this side. And your first question is select your brand. So from here, we want to have a drop down list with our options. So we're going to head over to the data section and to data tools, data validation, and this pop up will appear. So from here, we're going to head over to our list and we're going to source our list from this breakdown from our, our list number one. So we've got our three brands in our list. And once you click OK, you can see A, B and C is here. So whatever I click on this side, I want to have the say the options of brand number A. I want brand A's items to display in another drop down list here. So to do that, we're going to head over to data, data validation, and we are going to again, just select the list. And for our source of our list, we're going to type in the equal sign, and we're going to type in indirect. And we are going to put in a bracket, and you are going to reference your drop down list at the top here. So closing the bracket and pressing enter here. Now you'll see we have got all of brand A's items. And once you select, let's say brand B, you have all of brand B's items here. So like I said, once we add to this, if we add 12, let's say 12 has been added, just to note that once we add that, you can see 12 has been added to our drop down list at the bottom here. So that's why I initially when we renamed this section, I, end, I, I entered 
these empty cells as well just to include any future expansions of the brand in our drop down list and that will just simplify everything in the future so there you have it there is your next level drop down list i hope this tip was helpful i hope every single tip that we you saw today was helpful and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please remember to like this video down below and subscribe to our channel because we've got a lot of content coming your way thanks for watching today guys until next time cheers